Good evening, this is Nick. Um, I'm going to be showing you a difference between a couple different cable patch kit types. Um, I know a couple of guitar players that have pedal boards with uh, total, complete cable mess on them. Um, they've got, you know, they'll buy a cheap you know, cable kit with, uh, you know, like a foot and a half length cables that are multiple colors, like white, red, yellow, black, blue, green, something like that. You know, and I always suggest to them to get cable patch kits because they're cleaner, um, they're easier to deal with, uh, they actually create space on your pedal board um, because you don't have all that extra cable length that, you, uh, that you're wasting. Yeah, so I've got a couple of different types here. This is the Planet Waves and this is the George Els. And uh, I'm going to show off the Planet Waves first. Um, now, these are a little bit easier to deal with um, and I think these are actually cheaper. They're, these run for about uh, 70 or 80 bucks for a set of 10 right angle plugs for 10 feet of cable. So you can make five cables. And uh, it actually comes with a little um, cutting tool here. So we're going to cut that end off right there. Um, now I would highly recommend also getting uh, a little you know, screwdriver set like about this size um, for, uh, for these screws here on the side. I'm going to get that up just to the point where it's about to fall out, but uh, th that pops right out. Um, we can just toss that and uh, fit the cable back inside. And make sure you just give it an extra little push, but not too much. Okay. Okay. So that, that looks pretty clean, pretty good right there. Um, I like to take an extra step further and uh, I actually like to test the cable with uh, a voltmeter here. Um, so I've got that set for resistance. And so we're actually showing a resistance value in the cable, um, which in this case is a good thing because we've actually got a connection from tip to tip here. So. Okay, so that's that cable's good right there. Okay, this is the George Ells. Uh, these are a little bit more expensive. I think these run, I want to say, 80 to 90 bucks for uh, the 10 cable. Uh, uh, for, I'm sorry, for the 5 cable kit or 10 right angle plugs with 10 feet of cable. Um, also, uh, I believe you can buy bulk amounts of cable and bulk amounts of plugs uh, separately if you order it from their website. Um, I think 12 right angle plugs cost about 100 bucks, so definitely, uh, definitely more of an investment. But uh, these these really really save a whole lot of space in your pedal board. Um, so okay, so this is a little bit different. You gotta put this in straight, angle it in sideways, and then stick the cap on all at the same time. Okay. Okay, let's check that with the voltmeter. Okay, so we've got our resistance value in there too, so that's good. So uh, I'll tell you from my own personal experience, um, I don't notice any sound difference with either cable type. I use both. While we're here talking about cables, I just want to go on a rant. Um, you got to take care of them. Um, I see way too many people uh, throwing their cables in their bags, uh, wrapping them wrong. Um, and usually when I say something about it, they give me the excuse, oh, well, I have a lifetime warranty. I can just go back to Guitar Center and exchange it for a free cable. And that's true for most cable types. Uh, Megami, Monster, Planet Waves, uh, I think even Livewire does it now. Do you really want to show up at a gig and have a cable busted? 
because you weren't taking care of it right. Take care of your cables, guys. Make sure uh, make sure you're really uh, wrapping them properly, um, storing them properly, and uh, when you show up for your gig, it's not gonna crap out on you. Um.